Hey. Okay, so I'm hoping this actually works. Um, and you can see what I'm doing here. So if I actually stop sharing, let me see if it works. Okay, um, okay, I must be live. All right, um, I'm just going to go ahead anyway. So, good evening. Hello, everyone. It is a Monday evening here in Sydney. Um, but what I wanted to do is I basically wanted to talk a little bit about uh, exercise and how I personally choose the exercise routines that I do daily um, to serve a couple of purposes. One being um, that I know that these set of exercises will focus in on particular parts of me that um, I feel needs work and two I they suit my preferences and that I don't like to jump and I don't like to run um, so I'm not too much of a fan on uh, regarding high intensity training but um, but I know that these set of exercises, I change them around. So I might change them every 7, 10, 14 days. Um, actually, the longest, I think, was 22 days. But that was because uh, that particular YouTube exercise, um, the challenge was thrown out there to actually do it for 22 consecutive days. So I made that one 22 days. But I find that that's probably the maximum and then I just uh, rotate I mean I just change it around the place uh, to keep it so it's interesting for me and then I know that um, it's like a starting all fresh again <laughs> and um, I take measurements I always take measurements before I actually start a new playlist so that my basic uh, body measurements are actually taken I may do the weight, but not necessarily. It's more the um, tape measure. So whether it's around your waist or your hips or your thighs or, you know, whatever part of the body um, that I'm actually looking to uh, focus in on and work on, then that's what I do. And then I track the progress and the measurements at the end of every set of exercises. Now, what I did want to do is I wanted to just share um, a screen. So I'm just testing this way of actually <laughs> broadcasting because I just wanted to give you a sneak peek uh, about how I was choosing the exercises when I first started, um, you know, from... Uh, week one <laughs> when I was coming from a place where I didn't do anything um, in terms of uh, moving around uh, consciously or even going for walks outside um, I think I remember actually doing it a few times when but it wasn't really like a set routine so um, I'll just share my screen again even though it's like I don't even know whether it's actually showing up apart from the fact it's actually telling me it's showing up. <laughs> um, okay, so I think you can't see me now, but you can probably see my screen. And so you can see here that I've got exercises based on uh, month one, week one. And I've mentioned this before in my previous videos where it's just a matter of going through and um, uh like choosing simple ones to start off with. And this one here, where you can just find them, they're publicly available. Sometimes they might just be very short versions, but um, so this one is like half an hour, or if you want to just add on a little boost program, 
then you put um, then I added this one so it my exercise would be roughly around 20 to 30 minutes and probably in the first few days and then it just extended from there so my entire week one was based on these couple of YouTube videos all right so that was that one if I go there week two I chose one that basically was a three mile walk, but it was actually starting to get a bit longer now and things. So um, each time I would actually finish, I would try to actually make some improvement, whether it's a longer set of exercises or a bit more intense workout. Again, I don't like running or jumping, but intense in terms of like, um, the, the kind of stretches that I would do or you know the sort of maybe it's a more of a Pilates type of um, exercise that uh, really calls on the core strength or the real sort of like the, the smaller muscles in your body and think so um, that's how I actually uh, decided so what I plan to do is um, obviously because I can say that I lost a certain amount in a certain in only a number of months is to basically detail and actually share um, almost the, the exact routine that I followed um, for people and I will be putting this together just to sort of um, give a bit of a guide because sometimes people when you actually tell them just find a set of exercises that you like to enjoy and do um, it may still be too open-ended for many people and being very specific about maybe okay well this is what I followed on this particular week day one to day seven these are the results that I actually got from it and um, I'll show you a little bit about how detailed I actually became. I'll go back to the beginning. I think it was around about after the first 100 days when I really became quite specific about the actual result. And as you can see here, um, and I'll just pull this one up, for example, this YouTube, lit, YouTube playlist. I've now, in month four, I've got six videos here you know, with a, a warm up, always good to still have that, you know, routine of a warm up. And then various ones that were calling upon, you know, whether it's the abs or the legs. But I was able to track down that doing this entire set for now, how long did it actually last? Um, probably was actually seven days because this was like a, um, a seven day challenge, right? Seven day challenge. Uh, I basically lost three inches around the waist and uh, and here's all like the lower belly and they were the metrics that I was taking at the time I think so this whole sort of detail started to happen after um, the day 100 but then this is not just exercise alone this is also the nutrition part and everything else was actually um, playing a part into it remember how i talk about the mindset the nutrition the exercise um the sleep and uh, the fasting the fasting was starting to come into it but not quite it was more like my nutrition was being well managed and controlled by then i think so um that's just to give you an idea that when it comes to the exercise part, I did it all from home. Um, I just made up my own playlist based on areas that I wanted to actually um, work on. And I measured everything um, just to see the progress of everything. And where I might have actually perhaps not seen any progress or um, even maybe gone up <laughs> a little, then I would probably in the next set of exercise actually just uh, do something a bit more focused in on that area and things. So everything was around flexibility 
and the fact that um, it was something that I was in control of and that I could manage so that I knew then I could be consistent on a daily basis. I think so. I'll just stop that so you can see me. So that's basically what I wanted to share regarding exercise. And um, when you put yourself in that position of being able to just get your routine, set your routine, um, and then work it into your day so that everything is like, it's almost like a, it's a discipline, basically. But um, yeah, I just thought that that might be of interest. And when I get an actual sort of uh, all of these things together, I will put them in like a step-by-step -step plan. So maybe it is like um, from day one to day 14 or day 30 in 30-day intervals. These were the exercises that I did. Um, and these were sort of the results the results that I was able to accomplish from doing these set of exercises and things. So uh, that's what I wanted to share tonight. All right, apart from that, I will catch you again tomorrow. Be on the lookout. I am actually, um, you probably noticed that I have started to post um, a few more of the nutritional meal ideas, uh, which is just based on meals that I'm just cooking at home, right? Just keeping it really simple. So that um, the latest one that you saw was the mince with zucchini noodles, which is what I made last night. And tonight I did a silver side with sautéed vegetables and homemade cheese sauce, which I will post for tomorrow. Not quite sure what I'm going to be baking, uh, cooking tomorrow, but um, whatever it is, it'll be something small, it'll be something simple, quick. Um, economical, so that it's all just manageable, um, the way that we actually sort of approach, the way I approach um, my health journey these days. Okay, so we'll catch you again.